Okay, you guys. I just wanted to clear something up that I was kind of concerned about. I know that I've done this before, and I really hate to admit it, but just to make sure that you know what's going on hope you all can see that when you get your solar cells and you're going to attach them to glass they're all going to you're going to attach them to glass like this the front side towards the glass well the first thing you want to do is get you some tabbing wire and cut it to length you got to get make a little space there just has to be a space Let's say it's a sixteenth of an inch, eighth of an inch, three eighths of an inch, quarter inch, whatever you want in between your cells, you got room for. Them. And cut your your tabbing wire to where it reaches from right here to right here, and figure out how long that is, and make you a notch in your table or something, and then cut all your tabbing wire the same, uh, forty or fifty wires or whatever, however many you want, and uh, then. The very next thing you do is you tab every cell that you have with tabbing wire like that every, and stack them up in the stack. But be careful when you move them because they're easy to break. And I only move like three or four at a time or maybe just one at a time. If you try to pick up your whole stack, you break your cells. But anyway, tab all your cells. And then after you get your cells tabbed, take it and let's pretend like this glass right here here's the glass I'm going to use and uh, get you some silicone I got this at Walmart this is household glue it works it's not the clearest so since it's not very clear don't put very much on just put a little bit on each corner well, I'm not really attaching this to this glass what I do is I figure out where I want my cell and then I put a socket on it to hold it there and then I put some glue on it each corner and say so this is kind of sticking up over here I don't want my cell to be sticking up like that so I lay a socket on it then I glue it down then I just let it dry and I come back in about oh ten minutes let's say uh, ten or twenty minutes that's dry so then I got my first cell on there it's all dry and everything and it's ready for another cell and I have a tabbing wire we'll put in already soldered to this cell I lay it down like this and the first good thing to do is some people scratch that but that white stuff off you can do that if you want if it works for you if don't I don't know be sure and get you a flux pin like this it's in this bag see this flux pin flux your little dots there and then move it into place after you get it fluxed up and then get your solder out and your soldering iron and I like to solder about anywhere from about 350 400 degrees uh, on my soldering deal I have a rheostat but anyway the point is you want all your cells tabbed and you want to glue your first one down let it dry like that and then uh, put your flux on there move it into place then solder it and, or uh, glue it like I'd put glue here first I wouldn't even solder it till I got it glued down I'd glue it down when it got dry then I would come back and solder that then I'd have two of them done and I wanted to show you something this is my soldering iron control and I just looked them up on the internet and I think I finally found one for about 20 bucks or 25 something like that but when I turn it on I like it to rest between about four and five on that little dial one to ten but that's a pretty good tip because uh, it's too hot anything after five but anyway you need one of those if you're gonna solder because you gotta be able to control now I have a 45 watt soldering iron so um, that's the way it works with mine. Yours might work out a little bit different. But if you solder, when you get it on there, it seems like it won't stick and it's like blowing the solder away. Uh, your solder iron is too hot. What you want to do is just barely melt your solder. And when you get it, you know, to where it's just barely melting the solder, that's about where you want to be. 
and you can just barely bump it up a little bit and then if it's kind of like blowing your side away and burning it and turning it black it's too hot okay that's some pretty good tips there try to remember tab all your cells first and uh, glue one at a time down and don't forget to flux and stuff and uh, that's how I do it anyway thanks for watching